With eight states won thus far in a strong Super Tuesday performance, Donald Trump is aiming for a big sweep of victory that would eliminate opponent Nikki Haley from the race. In Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, Oklahoma, Maine, Alabama, Massachusetts, and Arkansas, contests were announced for Trump. When the former president was summoned to Virginia early in the evening, Haley's expectations were crushed. The state was thought to be among her best chances of winning, along with Vermont and Massachusetts. Her team was hoping for a triumph akin to the one she achieved in Washington, D.C., where independents, moderate GOP voters, and Democrats united behind her. Vermont is one of the states where polls have closed, but the results have not yet been announced. Tuesday is the largest primary voting day of the year, with contests for nominations held in a total of 15 states. With hundreds of delegates up for grabs and millions of votes to be cast, this is the largest turnout for any contender to date. Following the competitions on Tuesday, it is anticipated that Donald Trump and Joe Biden will be much closer to receiving their party's respective nominations. Gains are being made by Biden for the Democrats. When it comes to his party's presidential nomination, he only has token opposition. Tuesday's Republican primary is being held in 15 states, and Trump hopes to win them all. Haley continues to oppose him, but a string of wins will make it all but impossible for her to catch up to the former president. More than one-third of Republican delegates, and more than 70% of those need to win the nomination, will be given out in Tuesday's elections. Haley promised to stay in the race until the Super Tuesday contests, but she hasn't promised to do anything more. Her team hasn't planned any public events for Tuesday or the next week. She is not expected to speak in public while she is at her South Carolina residence. Later on Tuesday night, Trump is anticipated to speak to his fans at Mar-a-Lago. Karim Jean-Pierre, press secretary for the White House, said that Biden's staff will keep him informed about the election results throughout the evening. Though neither Trump nor Biden can become their party's presumed nominee until March 12 and March 19, respectively, both sides have been gearing up for a rematch. However, the fight for the general election will officially begin on Tuesday. The two men are prepared. We need to defeat Biden, he's the worst president ever, Trump declared on Fox and Friends on Tuesday. You're going to be back with Donald Trump if we lose this election, Biden declared on the North Carolina radio program Didi in the morning. I think it is shameful the way he has spoken about, behaved, and dealt with the African-American community. However, voters don't seem to be eager to hold another election in 2020, a year that Biden won and Trump fraudulently declared as his own. According to polls, most people preferred a different candidate than either Biden or Trump. Thus, the focus of every campaign going forward will need to be on motivating their supporters and convincing undecided people to cast ballots in November. Additionally, the candidates will go out and convince Americans of their positions. Georgia is a crucial battleground state where Biden and Trump will have separate campaign appearances on Saturday. Their interaction is not anticipated. In 2020, Biden became the first Democrat to win Georgia since Bill Clinton. Trump, who was certain he had won, is currently being prosecuted on both a federal and state level for trying to void the outcome.